How's it guys, Monash here and today we have the sick beast of a player Karina challenge. So this is the one where you have to use Dr. Octopus to complete Act 6 Chapter 3.3, the one with the Havoc boss. And you can use a 5 star or a 6 star Dr. Octopus. So I'm just going to briefly touch on the strategy and the easiest parts, boosts, masteries and all that just really quickly because this one is fairly straightforward so I know a lot of people who are using pretty much the same sort of strategy. So first of all I should say that this can be done with a 6 star rank 1 or 5 star rank 4, maybe even a 5 star rank 3 although I'm not sure that would be enough to solo the Havoc boss. Maybe it is with the bricked boost because that does make you more tankier with all those armor buffs. So that is the one Act 6 Chapter 3 boost I would recommend for this. Even though you aren't fighting champs with passive power gains, it's still pretty helpful just to make him a little bit more durable. But still it can be done perfectly fine without the boost, in fact I did not use it for the Havoc boss. Just because Alliance War was starting when I got to him so I decided to play that first and then I came back. Probably should have done it while I was still boosted from Alliance War, but eh, it didn't really matter at the end. So the easiest path is the unblockable finale path where each champ also has stupefy and either enhance special 1 or enhance special 2. So most of the fights are pretty straightforward, they all have relatively easy to fully dig special 1s and special 2s. Except for Joe Fixit who does have a tricky special 1 to fully dex. He does have enhanced special 1 but it's only the first part that's unblockable. The actual bullets or the projectiles, those can be blocked. But there is still unblockable finale which does make that final 25% a bit difficult. You ideally want to bait special 2 there which might not always be easy because of Dark Ark's own abilities to power control. But what I did is I had the pacify mastery maxed out. So I just made sure he was stunned when I pushed him to 25%. And that actually managed to bypass the unblockable finale node. So I did get a little bit lucky because it only lowers ability accuracy by 30% while stunned. I am not the best Dark Hawk player by any means. Um, I was kind of learning as I was going along. But basically you ideally want to be hitting the block a lot to trigger the breakthrough that applies the power lock. Uh, which is the yellow one. You can get it to 100 by hitting them directly. But then you also get the other breakthroughs up and then you might not apply the power lock. And ideally you want the power lock one because then you can parry heavy, power drain with the sig ability and then reapply the power lock and basically just spam heavies in the corner until they gain a bar of power. And every time you do that you will inflict a nice little burst of damage for each breakthrough debuff. But you don't even need to do all this, you can actually use them like a normal champ, it just might not be as efficient or as satisfying, but he will still get the fight done eventually. So after Joe fix it, the other fights on the path are fairly straightforward. And then when it comes to the Havoc boss, you basically just want to prevent him from throwing special ones. So it helps if your re-parry and heavy punishing game is on point. Just makes it easier to bait special 2s and not take too much block damage. So that fight took about 3 minutes with my rank 2 Dr. Octopus, so not bad overall. And once again I found this challenge quite fun, in fact it kind of makes me want to rank 3 Dr. Octopus. But unfortunately I am terribly low on tier 4 tech cats right now because I took Nimrod up like 2 weeks ago from rank 1 to rank 3 and that was after I had just about recovered from taking Guardian up from rank 1 to rank 4. And I still want to take Vision up along with Nebula so I need to be careful with how I use my tech cats. But anyway I think this was a pretty good challenge overall. In terms of item use I used a couple of health potions because I was playing uh, fairly poorly in some cases. I had a number of dropped inputs here and there in a few fights but overall I could have played better if I was a bit more focused. So this is my 5th Karina challenge from volume 2. I have one more act 6 one but I think I'm gonna do an abyss one first because I want to take advantage of free masteries while I can. So I might just stream like half a path tomorrow or on Sunday. Um, I would do a full path but they just take so long and I'm not sure I'll have time to stream for more than 3 hours. But I should be able to do the last couple of fights for the Abyss Mutant Challenge at very least. And then I can just make separate videos for any other fights I need to cover. So yeah, stay tuned for that and I guess that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you guys found this interesting and as always thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.
Thank <laughs> you. 